The Book of Jubilees, Chapter 19. Precepts and witnesses include Genesis chapter 25, the book of Asher chapter 24, and chapter 26. This chapter goes over Abraham being tried again by Yah of his patience after Sarah died. Rebekah, Isaac's wife, have the twins Esau and Jacob and cries for help while her pregnancy was so hard. And Abraham sees Esau's spirit and knew his seed would continue in Jacob. So let's get started, the book of Jubilees, chapter 19. And in the first year of the first week of the 42nd Jubilee, Abraham returned and dwelt opposite Hebron, that is, Kurathat, Arba, two weeks of years. And in the first year of the third week of this Jubilee, the days of the life of Sarah were accomplished, and she died in Hebron. And Abraham went to mourn over her and bury her, and we tried him to see if his spirit were patient. And he were not ignorant, indignant in the words of his mouth. And he was found patient in this and was not disturbed. For in his patience of spirit, he conversed with children of Heth to the intent that they should give him a place in which to bury his dead. And Yahuwah gave him grace before all who saw him, and he besought in gentleness the sons of Heth, and they gave him the land of the double cave over against man, that is, Hebron, for four hundred pieces of silver, and they besought him, saying, We shall give it to thee for nothing, but he would not take it, for their hands for nothing. For he gave the price of the place, the money in full, and he bowed down before them twice. And after this, he buried his dead in the double cave. And all the days of the life of Sarah were 127 years, that is, two jubilees and four weeks, and one year. These are the days of the years of the life of Sarah. This is the tenth trial wherewith Abraham was tried. And he was found faithful, patient in spirit, and he said not a single word regarding the rumor in the land how that Eloah Yahuwah had said that he would give it to him and to his seed after him, and he begged a place there to bury his dead. But he was found faithful and was recorded on the heavenly tablets as the friend of Eloah Yahuwah. And in the fourth year thereof he took a wife for his son Isaac, and her name was Rebekah, in 2020 a.m., the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Nehoa, the brother of Abraham, the sister of Laban, the daughter of Bethuel, and Bethuel was the son of Melchah, who was the wife of Nehoa, the brother of Abraham. And the precept to that is the book of Asher, chapter 24. And the life of Sarah was 127 years, and Sarah died, and Abraham rose up from before his dead to seek a burial place to bury his wife Sarah. And he went and spoke to the children of Heth, the inhabitants of the land, saying, I am a stranger and a sojourner with you in your land. Give me a possession of a burial place in your land, that I may be bury my dead from before me. And the children of Heth said unto Abraham, Behold, the land is before thee, is the choice of our sepulchres, bury thy dead. For no man shall withhold thee from burying thy dead. And Abraham said unto them, if you are agreeable to this, go and entreat for me to Ephron, the son of Zokar, requesting that he may give me the cave of Machpelah, which is in the end of his field, and I will purchase it of him for whatever he desired for it. And Ephron dwelt among the children of Heth, and they went and called for him, and he came before Abraham. And Ephron said unto Abraham, Behold, all thou requires thy servant will do. And Abraham said, No, but I will buy the cave and the field which thou hast for value, in order that may be for a possession of a burial place forever. And Ephraim answered and said, Behold, the field and the cave are before thee. Give whatever thou desirest. And Abraham said, Only at full value will I buy it from thy hand, and from the hands of those that go in, and the gate of thy city, and from the hand of thy seed forever. And Ephraim and all his brethren heard this, and Abraham weighed to Ephraim 
four hundred shekels of silver in the hands of Ephron and in the hands of all his brethren. And Abraham wrote this transaction, and he wrote it and testified it with four witnesses. And these are the names of the witnesses. Amagal, son of Abishna, the Hittite. Adakorom, son of Ashna, the Hivite. Amdan, son of Akaram, the Gorite, the Gomerite, and Bagdil, the son of Abadish, the Zadonite. And Abraham took the book of the purchase and placed it in his treasures. And these are the words that Abraham wrote in the book, namely, that the cave and the field Abraham bought from Hebron, the Hittite, and from his seed, and from those that go out of his city, and from their seeds forever, or to be a purchase to Abraham, and to his seed, and to those that go forth from his loins, for a possession of a burial place forever. And he put a signet to it, and testified it with witness. And the field and the cave that was in it, and all that place were made sure unto Abraham, and then unto his seed after him, from the children of Heth. Behold, it is before Mayor in Hebron, which is in the land of Canaan. And after this Abraham buried his wife Sarah there, and that place and all its boundaries became to Abraham and unto his seed for a possession of a burial place. Now continuing back to the book of Jubilees, chapter 19, verses 11 through 15. And Abraham took to himself a third wife, and her name was Keturah, from among the daughters of the household servant for Hagar had died before Sarah. And she bare him six sons, Zemram, Jokchan, Midian, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua, in two weeks of years. And in the sixth week in the second year thereof, Rebekah bare two, Isaac, two sons, Jacob and Esau. And 2046 a.m., Jacob was a smooth and upright man, and Esau was fierce, a man of the field, and hairy, and Jacob dwelt in tents. And the youth grew, and Jacob learned to write, but Esau did not learn, for he was a man of the field and a hunter, and he learnt war, and all his deeds were fierce. The precept today is Genesis 25, chapter 1 through 6, precept and witness. Then again Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. And she bare him Zemran, and Jokshan, and Midan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And Jokshan begat Sheba, and Dedan. And the sons of Dedan were Ashuram, and Ledashim, and Luman. And the sons of Midian, Ephah, and Ephor, and Hanak, and Abadah, and Eldah. All these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac, but unto the sons of the concubines, which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts and sent them away from Isaac his son, while he yet lived eastward unto the east country. Genesis 25, chapter 20 through 25, precept and witness. And Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel the Syrian and Padaram, the sister of Laban the Syrian. And Isaac entreated Yahuwah for his wife because she was barren. And Yahuwah was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of Yahuwah, and Yahuwah said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old, that's sixty years old, when he sh bare them. And the boys grew up, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau, because he did eat of his venison, which is deer. But Rebekah loved Jacob. Now the, back to the book of Asher, chapter 26. Again, continuing on with the precept and witness to this. And in the fifty ninth year of the life of Isaac, the son of Abraham, Rebekah his wife was still barren in those days. And Rebekah said unto Isaac, Truly I have heard, my lord, that thy mother Sarah was barren in her days, until... 
Yahuwah, Abraham thy father, prayed for her, and she conceived by him. Now therefore stand up and pray thou also to Eloah Yahuwah, and he will hear thy prayer, remember us thou his mercies. And Isaac answered his wife Rebekah, saying, Abraham has already prayed for me to Eloah Yahuwah to multiply his seed. Now therefore this barrenness must proceed to us from thee. And Rebekah said unto him, But arise now for thou also, and pray, that Yahuwah may hear thy prayer, and grant me children. And Isaac hearkened unto the words of his wife. And Isaac and his wife rose up and went to the land of Moriah to pray there, and to seek Yahuwah. And when they had reached that place, Isaac stood up and prayed to Yahuwah on account of his wife, because she was barren. She couldn't have children. And Isaac said, O Eloho Yahuwah of heaven and earth, whose goodness and mercies fill the earth, thou who didst take my father from his father's house and from his birthplace, and didst bring him unto this land, and didst say unto him, To thy seed would I give the land, and thou didst promise him, and didst declare unto him, And I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand of the sea. Now may thy words be verified, which thou didst speak unto my father. For thou art Yahuwah, our Eloah, and our eyes are toward thee to give us seed of men, as thou didst promise us. For thou art Yahuwah, our Eloah, and our eyes are directed toward thee only. And Yahuwah heard the prayer of Isaac, the son of Abraham. And Yahuwah was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And in about seven months after the children struggled together within her, it pained her greatly that she was wearied on account of them. And she said to all the women who were then in the land, Did such thing happen to you as it is to me? And they said unto her, No. And she said unto them, Why am I alone in this among all the women that were upon earth? And she went to the land of Moriah to seek Yahuwah on account of this. And she went to Shem and Eber, his son, to make inquiries of them in the matter. And they should seek Yahuwah in this thing, requesting her. And she also asked Abraham to seek and inquire of Yahuwah about all that had befallen her. And they all inquired of Yahuwah concerning this matter. And they brought her word from Yahuwah and told her, Two children are in thy womb, and two nations shall arrive from them. And the one nation shall be stronger than the other, and the greater shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were completed, she knelt down, and behold, there were twins in her womb. Yahuwah has spoken to her. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and all the people of the land called his name Esau, saying, This one was made complete from the wound. And after that came his brother, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, therefore they called his name Jacob. And Isaac, the son of Abraham, was sixty years old when he begat them. And the boys grew up to their fifteenth year, and they came amongst the society of men. Esau was a designing and deceitful man, and an expert hunter in the field. And Jacob was a man perfect and wise, dwelling in tents, feeding flocks, and learning the instructions of Yahuwah and the commands of his father and mother. And Isaac and the children of his household dwelt with the father Abraham in the land of Canaan, as Eloah Yahuwah had commanded them. And Ishmael, the son of Abraham, went with his children, all belonging to them, and they returned there to the land of Halavah, Havalah, Halavah, Havilah, and they dwelt there. And all the children of Abraham concubines went to dwell in the land of the east, for Abraham had sent them away from his son Isaac and had given them presents, and they went away. And Abraham gave all that he had to his son Isaac, and he also gave him all his treasures. And he commanded him, saying, Dost thou not know and understand Yahuwah is Eloah, God of heaven, in heaven and in earth, and there is no others besides him? And it was he who took me from my father's house and from my birthplace, and gave me all the delights upon earth, and who delivered me from the counsel of the wicked, for in him did I trust. Hallelujah. Now, continuing on to the book of Jubilees, chapter 19, verses 16 to 38. Continuing on. And Abraham loved Jacob, but Isaac loved Esau. And Abraham saw the deeds of Esau, and he knew that in Jacob should his name and seed be called through Yahuwah. And he called Rebekah and gave commandments regarding Jacob, for he knew that she too loved Jacob much more than Esau. And he said unto her, my daughter, watch over my son Jacob, for he shall be in my stead 
on the earth and for a blessing in the midst of the children of men and for the glory of the whole seed of Shem. For I know that Yahuwah will choose him to be a people for possession unto himself above all peoples that are upon the face of the earth. And behold, Isaac my son loves Esau more than Jacob, but I see that thou truly loves Jacob. Add still further to thy kindness to him, and let thine eyes be upon him in love. But he shall be a blessing unto us on the earth from henceforth unto all generations of the earth. Let thy hands be strong, and let thy heart rejoice in thy son Jacob, for I have loved him far beyond all my sons. He shall be blessed forever, and his seed shall fill the whole earth. If a man can number the sand of the earth, his seed also shall be numbered. And all the blessing wherewith Yahuwah hath blessed me, and my seed shall belong to Jacob and his seed alway. And in his seed shall my name be blessed, in the name of my fathers, Shem and Noah, and Enoch, and Mahalalel, and Enos, and Seth, and Adam. And these shall serve to lay the foundations of the heaven, and to strengthen the earth, and to renew all the luminaries which are in the firmament. And he called Jacob before his eyes of Rebekah his mother, and kissed him, and blessed him, and said, Jacob, my beloved son, whom my soul loveth, my Eloah, Yahuwah, bless thee from above the firmament, and may he give thee all the blessings wherewith he blessed Adam, and Enoch, and Noah, and Shem, and all the things of which he told me, and all the things which he promised to give me, may he cause to cleave to thee and to thy seed forever, according to the days of heaven above the earth. And the spirits of Mestima, the devil, shall not rule over thee, or over thy seed to turn them from Yahuwah, who is thy Eloah, thy God, from thenceforward and forever. And may Yahuwah Eloah, your Elohim, your God, be a father to thee, thou the firstborn son, and to thy people always. Go in peace, my son. And they both went forth together from Abraham. And Rebekah loved Jacob with all her heart and with all her soul, very much more than Esau. But Isaac loved Esau much more than Jacob. And that is the end of chapter 19 in the book of Jubilees.